Hi, welcome back third grade musicians. Thanks again for choosing Mr. Camacho's music lessons. I'm Mr. Camacho. Uh, today's lesson is going to focus on arts in the Arctic. So the Arctic or Arctic Circle is the top most northern part of the earth, right? Where the North Pole is. Um, so what would you think it would be like to live in the North Pole? So I know you're thinking about Santa right now, but what, what other people or think or animals might live in the North Pole? Ooh, a polar bear, yeah, or penguins, yeah. So if you were a polar bear or a penguin living in the North Pole, what would you think it would be like? Is it cold? Probably. Is it snowy? Probably a lot of snow and ice. The weather is probably either mostly cold all the time with winter storms or the sun where there's you know nice and clear sun but still always cold, right? And what kind of sounds might you hear in the North Pole? Oh yeah, wind, the sound of wind is pretty, pretty prominent in the North Pole because it's where uh, a lot of wind is passing by and it can be, that's what makes it also very cold. So you hear the whooshing. What other sounds might you hear? Oh yeah, we mentioned the polar bear and the penguin before, so you might hear the sounds of a polar bear or penguin. Oh yeah, and then also think about there's people that live in the Arctic. They're called the Inuit people. So we're gonna learn a little bit about the Inuit people and some of the arts that they created. The Inuit people are the native indigenous people of Canada and Alaska. Okay, so you know, we have Native American indigenous people here in America, um, you know, like the Cherokees and the Iroquois and the Chumash. Um, but in Canada and Alaska, they're called Inuit. So this is the, we're going to learn a little bit about their culture today because we're going to uh, talk about some of the artwork they made. So the Inuit people are an ancient hunting culture of the Arctic. In the 20th century, Inuit culture and music were influenced by European whalers who happened to land on the shores. And when most people in are introduced to a new culture, they like to share things, right? And some of the things they share are, are arts, um, like music or poetry or, um, or sculpting. Today, Inuit music includes old, old folk songs, adopted music, and contemporary sounds like this, this song we're going to listen to today called uh, Kwigavit. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Please um, don't, don't quote me on that pronunciation. Um, but first, let's look at some of the other arts that the uh, Inuits had created. First, we're going to look at some, a little sculpture. One form of art that Inuit people are particularly good at were, were carvings. Because there's lots of ice and a lot, and the ice is a hard block, they could carve it and chisel away at it and and make um, and to make things out of it, right? My, uh, make animals or make uh, people or figures. Um, so this first one we're looking at is a soapstone carving of an, another and uh, an Inuit person, right? So you see, it's made out of uh, rock soapstone, and they carved it very smooth, and it looks like it's a person holding a little bucket. All right? So they made all sorts of carvings uh, in the Inuit culture. That's one of the things that they were good, the, one of the arts that they're good at. Another art form that they, they um, looked into was poetry. So let's look at this poem that, that um, was made by an Inuit person. There is joy, traditional Inuit poem. There is joy in feeling the warmth. Come to the great world and seeing the sun. Follow in its old footprints in the summer night. There is fear in feeling the cold. Come to the great world. Now new moon, now full moon. Follow its old footprints in the winter night. What a fascinating poem. Really does talk about what it was like to be an Inuit or maybe some of the thoughts and feelings of what it was like to be an Inuit person. Very cool. All right, so next we're gonna dive into the music that they created. So um, the music that we're gonna listen to comes from a group of Inuit singers that were um, that are cousins. Their names are Madeline. Again, please forgive me on these pronunciations. I'm not sure if I got them right. 
uh, Madeline Alakariolak and Phoebe Adagotaluk. Together they form a group called Tujat. Um, so it's a little, they're a duo, a singing duo. Um, the, their music combines traditional forms of Inuit music with contemporary uh, Western music that we're used to. Uh, and one of this song that we're about to listen to, Kwigavit, is a, an exa a good example of that mesh between all folk Inuit culture and all our, our Western society. They're also known as throat singers. So throat singers, um, they sing through their throat, imitating the sounds of the wild, right? Or like, like geese or whales or polar bears. So they make these sounds from their voice while they're singing. So uh, let's listen to that. And while we're listening, there's a little listening map that we're going to follow. See if you can follow the sounds in the map while the music is playing. some interesting music. I found it very fascinating. Particularly when the song started, did you, did you hear what that sound was? That's right, that was the sound of wind blowing, right? So remember in the North Pole Arctic, there's probably lots of wind blowing, a very fast wind and it makes it very loud sounding. So that's a very interesting way to start their song, right? By incorporating some of the, the sounds of their culture. And then what else did you hear? Did you hear the instruments in the song? What was the main instrument that carried through the entire song and never stopped? Oh, what good ears you have. It was a drum. So at the very beginning, after the, um, the wind f blows, you start hearing a boom, 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 boom. And then the singer starts singing, right? Throughout the entire time, you hear that drum. And any other s instruments you might have heard? Ooh, somebody said guitar. Yeah, there might have, there might have been some guitar in there too to add to the music um, once you know to get everything going, all the layers of the music. Okay, great. So, um, what do you do, does anyone know what family of instruments that drums and or guitars belong to? So drums they they belong to the percussion family, right? Because you hit thing anything that you pretty much hit. Uh, 
is part of the percussion family and you hit the drum with the stick, right? And what about the guitar? Do you know what family the guitar is from? Oh, remember, what, there's, what part of the guitar do you strum? Yes, the strings, because it's a string instrument. So it belongs to the string family, all right? Um, like, uh, like banjos or basses or even violins and cellos. Very good. All right, students, once again, thank you for joining Mr. Camacho's lesson. Really appreciate that you're here. We're going to listen to that song one more time. But now this time, see if you can follow the sounds or the contours of the sounds with your finger while you listen to the song, okay? So you can follow the drums and touch the drum every time the drum beats. Or you can follow the voice and follow it with your finger as it goes up and as it goes down, all right? But yes, use your finger, follow it on the screen and fall and or tap the drum every time okay that way you can feel the the uh, the beat of the music while it's playing all right see you next time everybody bye